Hey, what it is, Chill. We're swinging. They killed off all the fun, morally great characters <laughs> and left us with the boring as fuck ones. Like, okay, I remember, uh, here, whenever I hear, like, um, a lot of old uh, wrestling uh, people talk about, you know, what they don't like about wrestling these days. It's often, like, a lot of them aren't big fans of, like, you know, Shades of Grey type characters. Like, yeah. things where it's like, oh, I don't know whether to cheer or boo this guy. It's so weird. It's like, yeah, that, that, that's, like, I'm down with that. But it's like, that definitely, I, I'm realizing it now. That's definitely, like, a, um, it exists, oh, fuck, what, what, I, what the fuck was that? I was swinging the right way. What the fuck? Ugh. Um. Ooh, no one, leave it alone. Yeah, I no said one. no one, leave it alone. No one, left. I did leave it alone. Yeah. 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 Fuck you. Jumps are fucking weird. Yeah, like yeah. fucking okay. When I'm moving the camera around, like the fuck, like Link sometimes just like like fucking freezes in place, and I have to like, or just like start walking in one direction. I gotta stop. I stop everything to like readjust him like a freaking yeah. car. Right, hold on, let me just get past this. Past the lobber. I saw a cool video on uh, Reddit the other day. It was yeah. like um, some guy went to a volcano Ooh. with a GoPro uh -huh. and like stuck the GoPro in a, in a crevice while oh. lava was like coming towards it, and like the, the the GoPro like film like survived. Okay. And like filmed you know being filmed itself being in the lava. Oh. And. What the fuck was that? I swung the right way. It just jerked me back for some reason. That's weird. What the hell? This should not be this fucking hard. This is one fucking thing. I know. All right. Well, anyway, I think like you know, In I'm all I'm all down for shades of gray characters. You know, like I think it makes more interesting interesting you know storylines and stuff yeah. at times. And not as in wrestling, but in, in in you know in in written fiction in general. You know. Yes. Um. But I think, like, that, that whole idea, that whole, like, you know, the whole idea of, of, like, you know, introducing characters like that, I think is definitely, like... Okay, I think Okay, I need to go... Off. No, I know. I need to... I think I need to land on the fucking... I need to stand on the fucking other side and go that way or something. Oh, okay, yeah. Because it keeps... It, it just jerks me backwards for some reason, even though I'm swinging the fucking right direction. That is very, very it's weird. fucking stupid. All right, um... But I think, like, that's that's a great example of, like, where, you know, where wrestling bookers, like, kind of went, went out of style, like, went, went out and, like, write, wrestling writers came in. Like, mm -hmm. doing, like, writing, like, that, that style of, write, of writing, mm -hmm. like, definitely, you know, that, that's, that, that, that style of, like, character and everything mm -hmm. definitely feels like more of, like, a, you know... TV writer thing to go. do. Yeah. You know? Like, I think that's a great example of, like, you know, what changed when bookers stopped becoming the ones making wrestling and writers, like, you know, in WWE started yeah. becoming the ones doing that. Yeah. Because, like, you know, they're, I think to a lot of writers, including myself sometimes, uh, like, sometimes your writing instincts are to write, in, like, interesting characters as opposed to, like, you know, great villains or great heroes. Like, yeah. you know, because I think, like, I'm sure it's hard to pinpoint exactly when it happened, but I think there, there, there came a, there came a point where like audiences stopped being as enamored with like you know heroes and like you know hating villains and stuff. Like just kind of like wrestling, like it stopped, it stopped being as real. Like writing like you know different shows or whatever, books, comics, whatever it is. Like it became out of style to have you know the straight hero and the straight villain and everything. Mm -hmm. I think I think why I think that's maybe when Batman became more like you know dark and stuff and yeah. like you know everything kind of changed around because like. You know that 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 whole style of just you know writing a presentation just kind of became you know I guess old school in a yeah, way. Yeah. So I think like a lot of people came to expect you know more more different writing styles and more like complex characters and everything. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, which nothing wrong nothing wrong with that, but no. like I think it's definitely an example of like yeah like I say uh, writing you know writers you know trying to eh, trying to eh. Trying to, yeah, um, <laughs> trying to create like, instead of create like a, like a like a like a conflict that you know grabs people, mm -hmm. you know, between like a, you know a, a, a straight villain with a with a good motivation and a straight hero with the motivation, you know, um, it became more about just writing like interesting characters. Yeah. Which you know I'm fine with, but like, 
you know, just, just to some extent, like, you have to wonder, like, you know, where, where all the great, vill- you know, the great true, you know, heels and villains go, you know? Yeah. It, it, you know, Maleficent's a great example, you know? She's often been cited by many as, like, one of the great Disney villains. Yeah, she's the best. And then they, you know, what the hell? And they do, like, a freaking, you know, modern day, you know, uh, version, like, a live action version of Maleficent. And, may, and, you know, make her a fucking Shades of Grey, like, you know, tragic kind of yeah, villain. Yeah, but, like, not every villain needs to be tragic. Yeah, like, sometimes there's there's something to be said for having just, like, a straight bad guy, you know? Yeah, like, that was another issue in MLP. Like, they stopped having straight-up villains and started right. trying to make everyone tragic. And I'm like, I don't want everyone yeah, to be tragic. Like, like, they, like, they want you to, like, see the human side and sympathize with everybody and... Fuck! Yeah. And just, like... You know what I mean? Like, one of the reasons why, you know, everyone loves uh, Star Wars is because of the hero-villain dynamic. Sure. And, like, Darth Vader, obviously, is an example of, like, a, you know, Shades of Grey villain. Yeah. But, like, he doesn't always really start out like that. He fucking, no. you know, he's evil. They only made him Shades of Grey in the fucking prequels, and those... And no, 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 he didn't. That's, no, that's not true at all, dude. Okay. Like... You know, we, we, we learn about his fucking backstory in, in 4 and 5, in four, in four, oh, in 5 and oh, 6, you know? Yes, yes, that's right, yes. And, like, you know, obviously, you know, you have Ember Palpatine, who's a straight villain, but, like, you know, Darth Vader's always been more of a, you know, tragic kind of villain so yeah. since, you know, since, the, since the originals. Yes. That's always been a thing. Of course. Um, and, you know, that there's nothing wrong with that. But, yeah. you know, just to some degree, you have to wonder, like, you know, oftentimes the best uh, villains... Or, you know, the most popular villains nowadays, and, you know, the one thing I can think of as Marvel, mm-hmm. is when, you know, you have one like Killmonger or Thanos or one like that, where it's like, they have, a, they have like, a legitimate motivation to where, yeah. like, you question whether, you know, the villain's right or wrong. And, like, yeah. you know, that, 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 is a, that is a good writing trope, or, you know, and it's not, it's not like, you know, that doesn't work or anything. Obviously, obviously it works for people. Um... But you know, back you know, back in back in the you know the old wrestling days, what you know, what drew money and what you know people got people interested was you know, wanting to see the hero triumph over the villain. You know, yeah, not, not yeah, not like you know, uh, you know, coming to the shows and wondering like you know who's who's really the right the right one here. Like yeah. the 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 more I guess traditional like setup of like you know just right 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 and wrong, good and evil. Has always been what you know drew business and what uh, you know got people excited and everything. Yeah. So like you know, it can still work. Yeah. You know, but I, I, if if my my thing is like. But you gotta I, really love the villain and you gotta really hate the, or love the hero and you gotta really hate the villain. Yeah. Which is what I think maybe is more. I think maybe to to some degree it might be easier for some writers just from how, from how often we see it to write a, write a villain that's like that's like you know complex. Yeah. And like has a, you know, mix mode has a, has that kind of motivation you know over uh you know just just writing a, you know, I, I wouldn't say a, a good detestable villain. I wouldn't say that just because like from how many we've seen, how many do we really like some of them are supposed to be sympathetic, but not all of them are actually sympathetic. They're just they just want to seem sympathetic when they're actually like, Right. Yeah, not. sure. Sometimes sometimes it comes off as like artificial, like yeah. not like not genuine. Yeah. Sometimes it's like, you know, a writer's attempt to create a character like that. You know, sometimes yeah. it works, sometimes it doesn't. The one that works is Zuko. The one that doesn't yeah. work is every single... Well, not even, well, like, Zuko is even just like a fucking, you know... He's a villain at the start, but, like, you know, gradually becomes less of a villain. Yeah. You know? Um, he's fun. But then you have someone like Azula who's a straight villain and is fantastic, you know? Yeah. Like, you can still have, you know, great villains. Mm-hmm. And, like, you know, have them, you know... You can have them have, like, a complex... Spe- like, you know, every, every villain... Most villains don't choose to be, you know, evil at fucking birth. Like, often, like, oftentimes, you know, a lot of villains start out, you know, no one's born evil. That's the whole, like, one of the, whole, one of the you yeah. know, primary ideas of, you know, good and evil. Yeah, um, bitches aren't born. They're made. <laughs> but, like, you know, just because, you, ah, fuck, no, get, get the, ah, fuck you. Just because the villain, you know... Just because the villain has a reason to be evil doesn't mean that they have to be, like, sympathetic all the time. Yeah. Like, you can still have a great, like, just detestable evil character mm-hmm. and still have them have, like, a tragic backstory and stuff. Yeah. Um, and like I say, in a way, I almost feel like they, people, they, you know, writers would rather write a, a, a more, like, morally gray character than a straight villain because maybe one is easier to portray than the other. Maybe. I don't know. 
I mean, it's not that hard to feel bad for a character. No, it's not. As long as they have like a good enough backstory. Yeah. E boy. Hello, that's thing. That's freaky. What All is right. that? I think that's a. I think that is Goma, or a or a Goma. Ew. Eh. Okay. Oh god. Okay. Let's see. What do I do? What do I do? He has I an eyeball. But he's he's shutting it every time I try to hit him. Okay, I got an idea. Hold on. We have to go on his claws. I think I know what to do. Hold on. Yeah, here we go. Yeah. Uh -huh. The fuck? Wee. There we go. Uh oh. Oh! That was easy. Ouchiwawa. Gotta break his fucking shell. Gotta break his fucking skull in half. Oh shit. Oh, he plugs it back up. Shut up, police! Quit doing your jobs, you're inconveniencing me. Alright, here we go. Yup! Yankity yank. How fucking heavy am I? Jesus, that I'm able to fucking pull this thing's ass down. It caused a fucking avalanche. I feel like it's not how strong you are, it's more how weak that thing is. It could be. Alright, we're ready to put it back up. I assume it's going to be three because yeah. that's a Nintendo thing. Yeah, that'd be a magic number. Three is a magical number. Three is the magical number. That's two. What? I don't know. No, it's one is the loneliest number. No, I know. Yeah. Oh. Frick. Oh, okay, that didn't kill me. Cool. Eh. I am Fred. Eh. Eh. Cool, his shell broke. So now he's vulnerable. Cheat. Fuck you. Yeah. Fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. Aha. Now I want to play Link's Awakening again. <laughs> okay. Did we, did we delete it? Um, I'm not sure. Yeah, I know we deleted uh, Stick of Truth. Right, because yeah, you were done playing that. I don't think we did. Okay. I mean, we can, can re-download it, you know. We'll see. Eh. Yeah, fuck you. Um. Jesus. Dead. <laughs> Hold my breath the whole time. I know that you like having a character that you can root for. Well, yeah. It's important. I don't. It's important. <laughs> well, it's important. Well, it's important to have a fucking you know that that if, if you don't if you're not you know genuinely invested in the fucking hero, then what's yeah. the point of having a villain? Yeah. But I guess in, like like we say in a show like like we were saying in a show like Game of Thrones where so many characters are morally gray. Yeah. You know you just. You, like and, and and in some cases, the morally great characters are more interesting or more like fun, and more more you know engaging than the. It's so true. And maybe that's an example of like just you know like I say maybe for some writers it's easier to write a morally great character than it is a you know straight hero straight villain and still yeah. and you know get them over and make them you know I mean obviously Jon Snow is over over to a lot of people. Not me. But like you know obviously not everyone so like yeah maybe maybe it's you know more maybe it's more difficult you know. It, in some cases like that, where you know the 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 non gray characters are more interesting or more engaging than the ones that are, you know, ha have a clear alignment. They they always were for me at least in that series mm. in the book. Well, I'm sure in the last series show. too. Like in Succession, everyone's a dick, and I love it. There you go. But see, like yeah, I like having I like having a character I can care about. Yeah. Otherwise, like I don't feel like watching. I understand. I need, I, I need like a reason to tune in. I, I, I need to yeah. like care what happens to this character. Yeah. And like obviously there are characters like that in Game of Thrones. It always happen. Yeah. And like you know some of them are like not as you know straight laced as Jon Snow. Who who, did, who was your favorite character when you were reading? Oh, uh, it's a joke.